but let's get to the hard questions. I know you've been waiting for these, Trent. Who is the most competitive in the household? Oh, without a doubt, I am. Uh, and that's saying something because Kim's very competitive as well. Uh, we often talk about when we first met, uh, we met at the sand dunes in Cronulla, running, doing a running session, but numerous times throughout our lives together as, as a couple, we've trained together and there came a moment where Kim had to say at the end of a run, uh, can you please stop running a metre in front of me? And I was doing it subconsciously and it was just that I'm so competitive, whether it's Monopoly at home, playing cricket, playing golf, uh, while I was away on holidays last week, I want to win uh, all the time, and that, unfortunately that's including my wife. So, uh, <laughs> bad luck. My partner and I met in a pub, so that's indicative of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, how much of a support was it having this darling husband of yours last year particularly, you know, that injury of yours, it was heartbreaking for us all to see, but to have someone at home, he can understand the pressures that come with being an athlete and, and the heartache. Yeah, and I mean, Trent is, um, if anyone's met Trent, he's um, one of the most amazing people um, that you'll ever meet, so if you haven't met him, make sure you go and have a chat to him after. Um, but I think, I think the great thing about Trent is that he's really calm. Um, he is almost extremely poised, almost too poised for me. Um, and that almost reflects in the sport that he plays in cricket. So he um, often um, has a lot of patience and that is something that I don't have. So when it came to an injury, a long-term injury um, that I had last year, I think that was one of the most important parts of the process was being patient. Um, and I, th I think I was pretty good for about four months until I found out that I had um, a bit of a, a hamstring issue that I was going to have to have for the rest of my life and I think that just really threw me and that's when he came in and um, yeah, really supported me and um, I guess put it in perspective again, I think so, so super important to have it. I mean, as an athlete, you do this every day and you, you feel as though um, you almost lose touch of what is real and um, with Trent, he definitely brings me back into, into line, which is great. Well, I was just going to add to that. I think that it works both ways. And, and the great thing that we have, we have negatives that we very rarely see each other. Uh, there are tough times where we don't get to spend the quality time together we would like to. Uh, but the positives are the acceptance of major setbacks and, and how you might be feeling after a loss. Or, you know, there, there are times there where uh, mutual experiences and common goals actually really help our relationship and, and that was a time where it worked uh, and the patience thing uh, for anyone that came across Kim on the weekend I've got no doubt she told them how long I take to put my shoes on because I just take so long to do everything. Uh, well, surely 10 seconds is enough for some shoes and there's slip-ons too. Yeah. No um, one minute and I was like babe Let's go! What have you been doing? And then we get out the door and Kim's forgotten the sunglasses. So, anyway, True. we bounce off each other nicely. <laughs> You're a brave man, Trent. You're a brave man. How hard was it for you, though, last year watching her with that injury? Uh, yeah, I found it really difficult. Uh, I, uh, Kim's been really fortunate, and so have I, that we've avoided major injuries on the most part. So, uh, dealing with that, it's very hard. In this room, no doubt you're either a parent or a significant other of someone that you really care about and what they do in their life. Uh, when that person is not able to do that, it's very hard to deal with. And uh, yeah, I was there as a support network, but uh, seeing the, uh, I guess, angst towards, you know, the setbacks that came with physical side of things with the knee, but also where the graft came from in the hamstring, you know, talk of would you be able to actually play again? Those conversations happen, and uh, from a partner's point of view, that was a, a real challenge for both of us. But no doubt, it, it, the one thing that amazes me with Kim is when we first met, and all the way through, I've never met anyone so driven and able to focus by herself. It, whether it's doing a running session, being able to push yourself to the hundred percent capacity is really hard without that external voice or a trainer or someone with you 
Uh, and Kim's always had that, which is really special. So I had no doubts in my mind she was going to get back, but it certainly was difficult to, to be a part of that. And it helps when you have someone running a metre in front of you. <laughs> so. I mean, look how tall he is. I mean, just think about that. He's very economical when he runs. Um, me, not so much. I can beat him in a sprint any day, but um, long distance, he's got me. I'm certainly the inferior athlete in the house. That's oh, awesome. God, let's not go there.